In today's video, we're gonna be comparing two unique and spirited breeds, the Chihuahua and the English Bulldog. Welcome back to the Fenrir Chihuahua Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you, and then helping you become a high-level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload of the Fenrir Chihuahua Show. So let's dive into today's video and take a look at the key similarities and difference between these two full of character breeds. Like many breeds, the Chihuahua's origins are unclear, but it's generally thought that they were descended from a Central or South American dog known as the Tekachi. The Tekachi was a mute dog that was kept by a group of people called the Toltec. They were slightly heavier and larger than the Chihuahuas we know today. Toltec carvings that date back to the 9th century show dogs resembling the Chihuahua with the same large ears and round head. In the 12th century, when the Aztecs conquered, they took this dog into their society and are believed to have refined it to smaller, lighter breed that is more closely resembled to the Chihuahua we know today. When Americans visited the region, they found lots of examples of the breed in, in the state of Chihuahua, giving the breed its name. Lots of the dogs were taken back to America and they quickly grew in popularity, being registered by the American Kennel Club in 1904. The English Bulldog descended from ancient Mastiff-type dogs that was developed entirely in England. The very first mention of this breed was in the 1500s, where the dogs were used in bull baiting, which was where the dogs would grab onto the bull's nose and roughly shake it, which was thought to tenderise the bull's meat. The early Bulldogs were much taller and heavier than the Bulldogs that we have today. They were bred specifically for the bull baiting sport, with wide mouths, powerful jaws and a very high tolerance for pain. After several years of controversy surrounding the sport, in 1835 bull baiting was outlawed in England and because at the time bulldogs were not seen as companions, there was a concern surrounding the consequences for this breed. However, many people admired the bulldog's incredible strength and persistence, so decided to save the breed through breeding them to have a sweet and gentle temperament instead of the tenacious and aggressive character they were first bred to have. Breeders selected the dogs that had a more relaxed temperament for breeding and were able to turn the once aggressive breed into a gentle and affectionate breed. Chihuahuas are small dogs with round heads and short, slightly pointed muzzles with a well-defined jawline. They have large ears that flare out at an angle of 45 degrees. They're extremely compact little dogs, but despite this, everything about their appearance is perfectly proportionate. The Chihuahua has both short and long coats. These coats are soft to touch and naturally sleek. There are many different accepted colours of the Chihuahua. In fact, there are approximately 40 different colours and colour combinations. And only one colour is never acceptable, and that is the mill. Both male and female Chihuahuas stand between 6 to 10 inches at the shoulders and should weigh between 4 to 6 pounds. The English Bulldog is significantly larger and heavier, weighing in at around 50 pounds and measuring up to 15 inches at the shoulder. Females are usually smaller and lighter. Bulldogs have a short, straight and smooth coat, which is generally very glossy in texture. They have heavy wrinkles covering their heads and two loose folds on their throat known as a dewlap. English Bulldogs can be a variety of colours, including red brindle, all of the brindles, solid white, solid red, fawn, fallow and piebald. Hey guys, really quick message. I just wanted to let you know, if you're struggling with any kind of behavior with your dog, I have a completely free course called The Principles of Canine Behavior, where I boil down all of my experience, skill set, and knowledge as a canine behaviorist and some of the most important things that you need to know. Again, it is completely free. There'll be a link in the description box below if you are interested. And if you are, I can't wait to speak to you over there as well. Chihuahuas are very loyal and affectionate dogs who love to be curled up napping on your lap. They do not require excessive amounts of exercise. 30 minutes a day of play or walk is sufficient, however they do need plenty of mental stimulation. They are a very playful and intelligent breed which certainly helps with training. They can learn both obedience commands as well as being capable of learning, learning a few tricks. However, a common misconception is that the Chihuahua is just a lap dog. They're a big dog in a tiny body and they're alert and feisty and will certainly not shy away from defending themselves when they need to. Although cautious by nature, they are fine around people once they get to know them. They're also known to have a stubborn streak. However, good socialisation and training will ensure your chihuahua is the perfect canine companion.
It's worth noting that if they're not socialized and trained from a young age, chihuahuas can become a little dominant and harder to manage. It will take time to train your chihuahua as they are highly intelligent but like to do things at their own pace. English Bulldogs also find a lot of enjoyment in playing with their human companion, particularly with games like Fetch. Although it's important to be aware of how the short noses of a Bulldog can affect how much they can play at one time. They're known to suffer with breathing problems due to the physical build of their jaws and snouts, so don't tend to be as bouncy as the Chihuahua. And do favour a more relaxed lifestyle. However, they are playful pups. The English Bulldog is very happy to cuddle up with you on the sofa and will happily laze around. There is something to be aware of though as English Bulldogs can very easily put weight on and will happily be lazy dogs, if they're allowed to be. It's super important to find a balance for this loving breed in terms of exercise, playtime, sleeping and just general lazing around. English Bulldogs are highly renowned for their determination and character, but are also incredibly gentle and loyal, making them really good with kids. Although they can sometimes be quite boisterous when playing, so this is important to be aware of if you have young children that might accidentally get hurt. English Bulldogs want to give you their love, but it's essential to do proper training and early socialisation in order for them to know how they should behave and also it's crucial to teach your kids how to behave around any dogs. This is also an important factor to consider with a chihuahua, as they are very fragile little dogs, so children need to understand the importance of being gentle and careful around them. It's crucial to always supervise playtime between your children and your dog to make sure that both parties know how they should behave with each other. Both the chihuahua and the English bulldog are incredibly popular breeds, both ranking within the top 20 kennel club breeds for popularity. Although both are relatively small compared to other breeds, they have larger than life personalities and with plenty of early socialization and consistent training can make wonderful additions to any home. Finding the best breed for you, your family and your lifestyle is really important and I definitely suggest doing plenty of research before bringing a canine companion into your home. Knowing more about your chosen breed will definitely help you in caring for them and giving them a happy and healthy life. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Chihuahua videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Chihuahua Show.